I view everybody as kind of an individual person who I don't see them as just, oh, she's a patient in room such and such. I see them as women dealing with cancer who have daughters, who have a son, who have a dog. I view their life when I take care of them. Most of the time I ask them if they can sit on their bed because I just think it makes the conversation much easier because I don't want them looking up at me explaining things. You want to be able to just talk very freely and comfortably. I tell them everything, tell them everything about their medical care, give them frequent updates, explain everything, you know, so that everybody understands it. I think that's the only way to get patients through their hospitalization. At graduation, we took not the Hippocratic Oath, which a lot of schools take, but we took an oath called the Oath of Maimonides. Central to the theme of that oath is that we will always see our patients as nothing but um, fellow creatures in pain. And that really is what compassionate care is all about, is really trying to understand and ease suffering in patients. They really are more than just their diagnosis. They are human beings, they are children, they are growing, developing people who have as part of them their disease. I gain a tremendous amount from my patients. I think that is without question what drives you every day. The ability to really touch people's lives is indescribable. And you take this with you 24-7, but what a wonderful thing to take with you 24-7. Since I was a small kid, I like to help everybody. Animals, my parents, my friends, everybody, everybody. What I try to give is myself, my heart, try to help them spiritual, emotional, and do the best I can. Compassion and care means to me is that I had to work with them right, right, deep, deep, deep in the bottom of my heart. When the people are in the last moment, the persons are in the last moment, what I sing is, Señor, me has mirado a los ojos, sonriendo. Has dicho mi nombre. My injury resulted in quite a change in my facial appearance. I honestly feel in my heart the compassion was there by the nurses who had me, but also it validated for me so much how uh, being a nurse is a spectacular role. And I've always tried in the almost 40 years to make sure that uh, my patients, my babies, my parents feel that uh, they have somebody who truly cares about them. I'll say, I am honored to walk you through this road. And with these moms, it's not what you say, it's just the being the present, that you're there with them and you can get them through. Patients on the cardiomyopathy unit are patients being evaluated for transplant, being listed for transplant, or have had a heart transplant. They're so young, their life is really just beginning. Me as a mother, I identify with that and think that could be my son, daughter. I don't think they really grasp all that's involved. Of course, families embrace you like you are part of the family. Many times these patients are with us for long periods of time, months. and. You do become part of their family. They say that, we feel that. There's times that I will just go to their rooms and sit and talk with them because they're lonely, so that they know somebody is there and somebody cares about them outside of just being a professional.